now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Rain continues to move across the Susquehanna Valley, but the winds, they're going to be ramping up during the next few hours and stay up through the night tonight. That's why it remains an impact night. Take a live look right now over York at the rain coming down over the White Rose City. Temperatures still mild, still feel like spring out there, holding in the lower 60s right now. 60 with a light breeze out of the southwest. But look at these wind gusts. The front's now clearing our western counties. Got a reported wind gust of 56 miles per hour in Carlisle near 40 miles per hour in Sealands Grove, 36 miles per hour in Chambersburg. So intense winds now starting to move into the region. Made it to 62 for our high today, and so far we've picked up four tenths of an inch of rain. Look at the temperature drop. 61 right now in Lancaster, down to 45 in Lewistown, still 57 at this hour in Chambersburg. So the rain not looking as intense, but the winds certainly are intense and will remain that way well after sunset until about dawn tomorrow. So you can see that rain working its way to the east. It is weakening, but still just be prepared for those winds to really ramp up here, especially in our eastern counties during the next hour or so as this front continues to work its way in and pushes across the Susquehanna Valley. So the rain tapers off should be out of here by about 7 to 8 o'clock as temperatures start falling into the 40s. Lows tonight will be down into the low to mid 30s, and that's when the winds still could gust as high as 40 miles per hour. Could see those wind chills hold in the 20s near dawn. Also may see a few isolated areas of some flurries or some snow showers hours, mainly northwest of Harrisburg up along the Route 322 corridor up towards State College. We'll start tomorrow off with cloud cover, but we'll end the day with some sunshine, but it will be blustery and colder. Highs tomorrow only near 40 degrees and throughout much of the day, those wind chills will hold in the 20s and 30s. So it is going to be a brisk day tomorrow, but we'll start to see the winds relax and coming up breezy again going on into Friday. So we do have that wind advisory in effect across the entire Susquehanna Valley until 7 o'clock tomorrow. So here's a look at the current sustained winds anywhere from 5 to now near 30 miles per hour like you folks are seeing in Lewistown. You can see the wind still intense off to our west and gusting excess of 40 miles per hour to near 50 miles per hour like they're seeing in Erie. So that's the wind that is coming in as the rain moves on out. 60 right now in Harrisburg, already down to 38 in Pittsburgh. There's the front now right on top of us and it's working its way to the east. But notice by 10 o'clock, the rain's out of here, but you can see those streamers in the clouds. There could be some flakes trying to mix in with that at times through the night on into early tomorrow morning. It's going to be a blustery day. Our spring-like pattern takes a one-day break. We're hitting the snooze button on spring for tomorrow. Highs will only be near 40 degrees. High pressure builds in. The winds will relax. We'll see more on the way of clear skies as we start our Friday, and then temperatures will rebound. And notice the clouds start increasing late in the day ahead of our next storm that could bring some showers Friday night, but better chances for hit or miss showers will be around on Saturday with temperatures rebounding into the mid 50s. And then into the 60s we go. I do expect temperatures to remain spring like with an unsettled weather pattern with chances for showers nearly every day as we head through much of next week. WGL News 8 at 6. We'll be right back after this.